spring in Colorado, April 1st today, and we're supposed to get three to five inches of snow this afternoon, so it's pretty cloudy. Um, but I'm gonna get out and get a quick hike into another spot along the Platte River. It's, it goes up to this old mine. It's a pretty cool hike. So it was cold down on the river. So now I am warming up, climbing uphill. So it's a pretty cool spot. Don't need any snowshoes today. Trail is is very dry, and so I didn't even bring them. But this this trail has got a lot of steep switchbacks once you get to the top, and I think it's nice and flat and easy going. So I'm warming up pretty quick here. So this is part of. The Colorado Trail. This is segment one, and that goes from uh, down in in Chatfield up to Foxton area. They're all like 20 miles long or so. But this is a pretty cool, pretty cool part of the the trail. There's some offshoots you can go on along the way. So we're gonna go up and check out this this old mine that. Uh, uh, is no longer in operation, but there's some pretty cool stuff there. Well, we're gonna get some snow today. And the mist is already coming in with the clouds. You can see up over that mountain there. Uh, so we'll see how this is gonna go. It might be snowy on the way down. And another switchback. Lots of these switchbacks going up here. Now it looks like someone left, left their sunglasses here. We put them back down. We definitely practice, leave no trace when we're out hiking. And if we see some garbage on the trail, uh, definitely just pick it up. Throw it in your pack, it doesn't really weigh anything and you can toss it down the trailhead. Or if it's like sunglasses like we just found, or maybe like a hiking pole, then Someone might appreciate it, being able to just pick it up if they came back. While we're here, just taking a break, taking in the views, chilling for a little bit before we head on out. So the sky is getting clear. There's some pretty cool puffy clouds in the, up in the sky too. So we'll keep an eye out for those. Arvo's whining. He's ready to go. We've been here for too long, I know. But uh, we're gonna get back out there and get over to that mine. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come on, up. Okay, let's go. Well, it's pretty nice and sunny and blue up here. We're gonna go up along that trail, up over that ridge and down over those, that ridge by those puffy clouds. 
Now this is the other side. Let's do a pan all the way through. The sun's pretty bright, so it's kind of hard to see everything, but it is really cool and misty out there. And all the way back around to that ridge overheading. While we were back there, just kind of chilling out, there was someone that uh, walked by and they didn't have any sunglasses. So I asked them, hey, did you lose your sunglasses? And they said, no, they forgot them. Like, oh, I have an extra pair I found on the trail if you want them. I was just gonna, you know, send them back down. Who knows if anyone would ever find them, but they're yours. So she took them and, and was able to keep the sun out of her eyes and she also said if she ran into someone that lost their sunglasses on the trip that she would pass them on. So, you know, gotta keep on giving. Arvo found another stick. You don't want your stick? Ready? His favorite thing in the world, chasing sticks and balls. Well, we've reached the mine. A few peaks out here, that's Rally Peak. And a nice valley gulch in through here. Going out over that way, long scraggy peak, I believe. And then we have the mine here. Well, that does it for this hike. Uh, I'm just heading back down two, two and a half miles up to the outcropping and, and about 400 feet of elevation change. So it's not too bad. You start off at 6,200 feet and you end up at 6,600 feet up at the top. Uh, short hike to get up there with a moderate elevation gain to get some pretty awesome views and and uh, all that so yeah that's it